Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect your Elgato HD60 to your Xbox 360, Xbox One, and I can only assume it's the same as the PS4 and the PS3. It's not dilly dally around, let's just get started here. When you open up your HD60 for the first time, it'll come with two cords. You got this USB to thing that connects, uh, is it a micro USB? I don't know, whatever it is. It connects to your Elgato HD60, and as well you've got the HDMI cord, okay? You've got, yeah, just dual HDMI. And when you open it up, you'll get your HD60 here, and you get those two cords will come in this little compartment right here. And as for as, as you can look as much as you want, but you're not going to find any instructions. I was actually fortunate enough to get an inside look at the decision-making process behind not putting instructions into the Elgato HD60 box, and uh, here it is. Should we tell him to use it? No. Great stuff. Thanks, Elgato, for thinking that we're all born with the innate ability to put together an Elgato HD60 um, with no problem. Thanks. There's six things you got to worry about here. I'm only using one hand, so excuse me. There's six things. You got this cord here, which is the, the USB and the micro USB that'll connect to your Elgato HD60. You got the dual HDMI or the HDMI. You got the Elgato itself. You got your laptop. You've got your Xbox One or Xbox 360. I'm using the Xbox 360 right now because my Xbox One is in my room, which is in there. And it's uh, just very hard to see and very hard to get to, and it's too hard to unplug and too much of a hindrance. So I'm just going to use the Xbox H360, but it's the same thing. And you've also got the HDMI that connects from your Xbox 360 to your television. Step one, here's your Elgato, all right? See, the HD60 is on the bottom right corner. My hands are so red, I'm so sorry. The HD60 is on the bottom right corner. Flip to this side, you'll see three different ports. You've got the HDMI port. Got that micro port right there. Let me try and focus on that. There you go. And you've got the uh, some an audio jack right here. I'm gonna tell you what that's for a little later. First thing you're gonna do is take that little micro spot of that micro part and the USB, and you're gonna plug that into the Elgato HD60. Watch this seamless. There it is, perfection. You're then gonna take the USB side of that and plug that right into your laptop. Where is it? There it is. You're then gonna take that short HDMI cord that comes with the Elgato and plug one of those, doesn't matter which one, into the same side, and into that HDMI port on the same side that you plugged in that micro part, because there's also an HDMI on the other side, and that's where it can get a bit confusing. You're gonna plug this one into the same side. So here it is. Again, one hand, I'm sorry. And then you're gonna plug this side over here into the back where the TV HDMI is. So the TV HDMI comes out, and this one is gonna go in there. So now the HDMI that came with the Elgato is now one part in the same side as that micro part, so that leaves on this side just that one little spot. And that is plugged into the back of your Xbox. Now, next, you're gonna take the TV HDMI, the one goes all the way up there to the TV, you're gonna plug that into the lonely side of the Elgato. So here that is, terrific. Again, here's where I remember it. You got the two cords that come with the Elgato box well, the Elgato itself, sorry, I mean, they are going to go into the same side. So they're going to go into the side that has the HDMI, the micro USB. I really don't know if that's called. If it's not, I'm really sorry. And as well, that little aux input there. And then the one that goes to the TV, which is something you had already, it's lonely, you know, it's the TV, whatever, that goes into the lonely side, all right? And as far as setup goes, you're pretty well set. So let's take you into the laptop now to show you the rest. So really it's pretty simple. If you want to record the video, uh, you can just click the red button. It's not red right now, it's kind of gray, but if it, it will be red when you have the capture on. Also, you can't see anything with the capture's not on, but it will be red. You press that to start recording, press it again to stop. Over here you got the audio. Um, you know, I like to keep mine around uh, four decibels, but you know, you can tweak with that and others will tell you different, but you know, you keep going until you find a good spot. And right now, I believe my mouse is just scanning a whole spot for streaming. Uh, I, I have yet to stream, so I really don't know what's going on down there. But I'm sure other people will uh, have made videos or forums or something telling you how, because <laughs> Elgato sure hasn't. And also, uh, there's a quality bar. So if you can see here, I've got quality all the way up to best. You're going to want to make sure that whenever you're recording, your quality is set to best. Everything else is kind of standard there. Also, you see that checkbox that says allow 60 FPS. Make sure that is checked as well. Everything else here doesn't really matter. So that's really it. Now for the additional part that I mentioned earlier, if you're recording gameplay with your friends and you're there, have it during your party, or if you're recording gameplay and you want to record the party that you're in on Xbox Live, for example, that's just what I'm using as an example, um, you need the, uh, the chat link cable, which is over here. That was great hand movement. A couple things I'll be pointing out. We have the chat link cable. It looks like this. You've got the, the, uh, uh, the audio input, Jesus, and there's an audio input on this side as well, and you've also got the audio 
is it output? You know what I mean. You can put audio into it. You've also got the Xbox One controller uh, with this here, which will allow you to put audio into that. And as well, you've got your, your headset. And right now I'm using the Astro A40s. Great headset. Don't knock me, though, for saying it's a great headset. I like the headset a lot. And uh, it also has just the audio and audio. First thing you're going to do, you're going to take your headset audio right here and stick that into the splitter right here. Beautiful. Then you're going to take the short end of audio right here and put this into the controller. Also beautiful. And lastly, you're going to take this end right here and put it into the audio input or output, whatever, in the Elgato. Incredible. Now that that's all set up, we'll take you back inside the laptop to show you how to set up that. Let's get into how to use the chat link cable here. Earlier, we took a peek in here, so let's go again. Uh, basically, the only really thing you have to do is check the analog audio box, which is that box that I was just showing you how to check. So basically, just go over that analog audio box, and that's really it. Um, just as long as that analog audio box, then your party will come through again. Uh, you can tweak the sound again if you wish, but uh, the program picks up what your headphones hear. So you use the plus and minus buttons on your controller uh, adapter to control uh, the master volume. And then the, and also on that same adapter, you've got the party and the gain buttons to control what you hear more of. So basically, whatever you hear more of in your headphones is what you're going to hear more of on the program in the final in the final product, I guess you can say. That's really about it for me. I don't often make how-to videos like this, and I likely won't in the future. This is because I just gave you all the knowledge that I have. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. And also, if you're still here, hey, how are you? I'm Ketchup Chops, and I make videos on all kinds of games with my friends, and sometimes yeah, without my friends. Oh, so yeah, if you're into that, uh, check me out. Um, <laughs> Uh, that sounded uh, I vote for another a little car. curvy. <laughs> you. Um, you know, my videos, you know what I mean. Anyway, forget it. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll see you around in future videos. Goodbye. Love you.